Hi, my name is Ellie and I run the Operation Wallacea project in Madagascar. So we are based in the forest in the Mahamavo region in the northwest of Madagascar. It is a dry deciduous forest and we also have associated wetlands with some of our sites. So we invite school students out to help us with the research that we carry out here. Uh, so these students will spend a week in the forest site and then a week at our marine site as well. When school students arrive on site, they will spend half a week at base camp and half a week at our satellite camp called Matsudroy. Students get to take part in a wide range of surveys, but they also take part in a lecture series too. Students also get the opportunity to visit the local school in the village, and there is also a market on Thursdays, which means that students can also experience the culture of Madagascar as well as the beautiful wildlife here. We do five lectures in a lecture series looking at wildlife and conservation. So we cover a broad range of topics, everything from how Operation Malasia works, um, the site that we're at, the different sites they'll be going to, um, the species that are here, the distributions, how Madagascar is really unique for endemism, and then looking at also the people aspect of conservation and how the culture here in Madagascar has contributed to conservation as well. Dipcan, Opwal and the University of Oxford set up a project in the Marirano Tropical Dry Forests in Western Madagascar in the year 2010. Our objectives was to look at the patterns of diversity across a landscape of dry forest and wetland systems and to look at trends through time in key biodiversity features. In Marirano we've been studying trees, various invertebrate groups, reptiles, amphibians, forest birds, wetland birds, as well as uh, mammals, looking at lemurs, bats, and small mammals and carnivores. The biodiversity survey activities that we run are led by experienced scientists, but university students and school students are very welcome to join those scientists and participate in collecting data. I'm a teacher from uh, Bromus Grove School, I teach biology. Madagascar is famous for the range of species and organisms that aren't found anywhere else on the planet. Teaching about these things in ecology in the classroom can be quite dry sometimes, but actually when you're in practice and doing these things, it just brings it all alive for all of the students. It's really great to see them engaging with it properly, as well as experiencing a completely different culture. And actually interacting with um, scientists and researchers who are in the field now and possibly doing things that they, would, they have ambitions to do. Without sounding cheesy or corny, it's actually a little bit inspiring, certainly for some of our students who have got those ambitions. My name is Ellen Fluharty. I am the site manager here in Nozi B, Madagascar, and also the head of research here at this site. A typical day at our site consists of two dives or two snorkels, along with two lectures per day. Those who will be learning how to dive will complete their open water dive training and those who are either already qualified or who will be snorkeling with us will partake in our Indian Ocean Reef Ecology course and get to practice the various underwater surveying techniques that we use in the water. And so throughout the week they're exposed to many different things from as simple as laying a, a transect underwater to uh, performing visual census surveys, fish surveys, invertebrate surveys, coral morphological identification, a whole suite of different survey techniques uh, while they are here. And so a lot of this research is actually going to contribute towards an ongoing database. So as, as we come back year after year to the same site, we'll be going ahead and gathering uh, data which we can refer to in the future and future studies and ideally we start to draw parallels between marine protected and non-marine protected uh, species and diversity and uh, different metrics that we look at with regards to reef health and biodiversity. It's been incredible, it is absolutely beautiful here. Before I came I was looking into going into marine ecology and marine biology and this has definitely cemented it here. I've loved it, it's absolutely incredible. So um, we've actually done a coral watch survey this week, which is helping the Citizen Science Initiative. So it's actually helping real life science and it's been really interesting. It's been a great experience. My favorite things just happened today, I've swam with a turtle, which has just been a lifelong experience I've always wanted to happen. It's just been incredible, I've absolutely loved it. This is the second week we've come here to Nosy Bay. The boys have been following lectures, learning about the marine life and the coral and then we've been out doing transects and quadrats. The scientists have been inspirational for the boys 
and help them definitely with their views to looking ahead to um, university and different choices for A-level and things like that. At the marine site we've been doing our paddy open water scuba diving qualification so we spent the week learning how to scuba dive. The <laughs> highlight of my trip has been being able to snorkel next to the turtles. Mm. It's really nice to get up so close. Yeah. Um, highlight of my trip was probably going down 12 meters on my own without holding onto any rope and getting my paddy certification. That was insane. <laughs> Magari jeri, magari jeri, ano yo. Eh, 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 eh,